dudes and babes, DT here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new episode of Clash Royale. So as you know, I have gotten a super magical chest quite a little bit ago, but I have been so scared to open it. And so I've just let it sit there and have not touched a thing for quite a little bit because, well, you know, it is a little nerve wracking. I swear to you right now, right in front of this camera, right in this house, right at this moment, if I do not get anything awesome out of this Clash Royale super magical chest, I may just flip a table. Now, yes, there is a huge glass table behind me and yes, it is very heavy, but I may just gosh darn flip it. So I am going to now go ahead and jump in into the recording. Um, a little bit nervous. I'm still super nervous as you can see right here and on the screen. Um, I have all of my chest slots full so I'm going to go ahead and start with a free chest opening and let's just make sure we're recording this because if I'm not it'll be really really sad. Okay we're all good. All right so let's open the free chest first. We're gonna have two free chests. All right we got some gold, got some minion hordes. We got a mini P.E.K.K.A, also known as a little P.E.K.K.A. Okay, and now second free chest gold. Gems, giant, okay, that's good. Arrows, fantastic. Now let's start with the crown chest. All right, 410 in gold, two gems, Tesla. We got fireball, five of those, that's pretty great. We got bombers, we got a poison spell. And now let's move on to this silver chest right over here on the left. Oh my god, my heart is pounding so fast right now. I don't even know that, like, if you could hear it, you would just not, you'd be worried for me right now. Okay, minions, second silver chest, more gold, a hog rider, a knight, now a gold chest, and... We're getting closer and closer, and I'm so, so nervous. Five fire spirits, Teslas, cannons, and another mini P.E.K.K.A., two of them. <sighs> okay, my hands are literally shaking. I am so scared right now. I'm so scared right now. Okay, let's, let's, let's count till three, and then I'm going to open it. This is my first super magical chest. You don't, I mean, I'm sure if you've opened a super magical chest for the first time, you were probably pretty nervous too. Like, like my hands are a little shaky right now. Actually pretty shaky. All right, one, two, and three. Let's open it. Please be something good in there. 3,104 in gold, seven hog riders. 163 minions, 195 arrows, 37 goblin huts, 50 valkyries, <sighs> two cards left. We got a balloon and one card left. Lava Hound. Oh my God, my hands are shaking right now. Whew. I got a Lava Hound. I got a Lava Hound. I got a legendary card. I got a legendary card out of this super magical chest that I got by battling. I got it by battling, by battling, by battling. This is amazing. Now, I did tell you what my first choices were and Lava Hound was not one of them, but as they say, Baggers are not choosers and I am very very excited to have the Lava Hound. So I now have two legendary cards. I have the Ice Wizard and the Lava Hound. So I have the power of ice and the power of fire. So I am pretty excited even though it's not the card that I wanted. Uh, I, I wanted a Miner first and Sparky and the Log after, but Lava Hound is still an amazing card. So I am, whew, I am so excited right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and do a little bit of a gameplay because I my hands are a little bit shaky right now. I'm right in the high of the Clash Royale. My hair looks like I'm a crazy person. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in and do a few attacks and see 
if we can do well. And if not, then if not, then I'm just gonna go ahead. Oh my god, Royal Arena. Whew, Royal Arena welcomes me. Oh no, this is my spammer deck that I was experimenting with. This isn't my actual deck. Oh holy jingles. This may not be oh so good. Oh, not so good at all. I don't have, oh my god, I'm so, so scared right now. This is not the deck that I wanted to be going in with because I was just experimenting with it. Oh man, oh man, 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 oh man, oh man. Okay, I really have to be uber duper careful over here because, ah, uh, yay, 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 what a mistake I made. I really should have looked at the deck that I'm going in with, but I was so excited with what I just won. So I was like, not really clearly thinking straight. So as you can see, this is what happens when you are not thinking clearly and playing Clash. Okay, here we go. Let's drop our Barbarians over here and let's put our Skellies to go right behind the Barbies. Okay, come on Barbies, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh man, Valkyrie and the skeleton army. It's like one swoop of her axe and she is totally done with them. She is crazily OP, crazy, crazy OP. Oh my God, look at my little tiny tower. It is going down so quickly. This was clearly not the deck that I should have gone in with. Um, so I'm just gonna be, you know, super, super honest with you guys. Not what I wanted to go in with. Um, probably gonna do another one after this and do like my regular attack or something or my, my regular deck or something Whew, oh my god I got a legendary do you even understand how excited I am right now with the legendary that I got I don't know that you could I don't know that you could maybe you could if you have experienced this on your own so I'm gonna just oh my god lava hound seven elixirs miss lava hound is it miss or is it a mister I don't know I really don't know 60 seconds left i am so not even putting a dent into this guy's into this guy's tower because ooh, hug right eek right here let's go take out the huggy um yeah this is gonna be this is gonna be a loss you guys definitely not gonna be able to uh come back from this one at least not with 40 seconds left and with him having all of these massive cards so i'm just gonna write this out hopefully it's not going to be a three crowner for him 30 seconds left dingers this was actually a deck that one of my um clan members recommended he said that it's doing magic for him so i was just testing it out last night in friendly battles and of course forgot to swap it so what a silly mistake this was i am of course like i said still riding out the high of playing and getting the super magical chest and then getting a legendary out of it now i just have to i just have to figure out how i can get more of those because obviously i want i want other legendaries too i want every legendary in the world All right let's do deck number one and then if it doesn't work we'll do deck number three and if that doesn't work then i'm not even gonna put this video on youtube i'm just kidding of course i am i'm just going to show you the chest opening part <laughs> I'm also kidding again because you know I always share with you both my wins and losses because I feel that that's only fair if I'm only going to share victories with you it creates a picture of me having like this undestructible clash royale uh, you know skills which definitely aren't that and it certainly is more than just uh you know more than just winning all the time because well if i was winning all the time i clearly would have been in a much higher arena i am still in arena six so i am not the one to be uh playing tricks on you guys and making you believe things that aren't actually accurate so transparency is the key yes i lose a lot yes i win a lot yes i am addicted to clash royale there is nothing to say about that okay um this is looking somewhat promising however my opponent did not opening up all of his cards just yet he is using a mortar which by the way i have not seen being used in a decade and a half uh, i feel like i've seen mortar in use when it just first came out and then people just slowly kind of um started you know to uh you know to tune tune out of that and you know not really use it so i don't know i haven't seen mortar in mortar in use in quite some time so here we are the mortar is um there it is here goes my mortar down you go with help of my minion horde what a lovely little combo there okay we're gonna take down the tower come on there we go super super close but we got it so now i'm gonna go 
off of the left hand side here goes the Valky let's take out the Musketeer and we are going to concentrate on the left hand side now although I could just probably push over onto the right all right here comes the here comes the mortar again and now we're just gonna put a minion horde on top of it once more oh actually now that the giant is coming we're gonna put a cannon over here giant is going to go for the cannon we're gonna put a minion horde over here and we're going to dominate this yeah baby all right also i've made a small modification to my deck if of course you probably can see um i've swapped uh, a few things for um for minion horde because i felt that it was much better uh you know in dealing with um Royal Giant definitely helped me out a ton against the Royal Giant, so I swapped it because you can just drop the Minion Horde on Royal Giant and it takes it out really, really quickly. Something that I've uh, decided to do after watching uh, a video replay from Miss Scarlet from my clan. If you have not seen the video of Scarlet sharing her awesome skills with the clan and of course everybody on the YouTube, you should go and check it out. Some really, really OP attacks. She's really an amazing player and I highly recommend that you go and check out the replay. It is posted on my channel. It is the video previous to this one for Clash Royale, so go ahead and check it out. All right, let's see what we got here. Are we gonna get a silver? Yeah, silver. All right, well, let's do this one more time. It is going to be a longer video, so um, I'm going to do one more. I may cut out the last one, I don't know, but let's do this one more time. And guys, I am absolutely stoked to be getting a second legendary. Uh, legendaries have been such a challenge for me to get, especially because, um, like I said, I have been mostly sticking around in arena number six, so it has been more difficult to get legendaries here. Um, you know, it's just, yeah, I don't know. It's probably because you're like kind of like at the point where there is still a ton of um, other cards that could rotate in the deck oh and here comes the miner here comes my number one choice the miner and look at him brutally assaulting my lady musketeer what a not lovely move there but none of the less we're still dominating we're still pushing on my opponent's side and looking pretty good looking pretty good overall uh yep and here comes the army we're gonna put a valk over here and we're gonna put a musky over there. So let's go ahead and put the musky on musky. We're just gonna take her out. And we're still completely untouched on my side of the arena, but causing a little bit of damage at a time to my opponent. I'm going to save up over here because now that I know that he has a miner, I gotta be a little bit more careful. Miner is a very awesome card. Um, so I'm gonna just, like I said, be a little bit more careful here. All right, I'm gonna put a cannon right over here now i'm gonna put an icy right over there and of course put the minion horde so that will be an awesome combo because minion horde oh no the minion horde went down and come on icy why did you turn around and left when we are getting assaulted by the miner and we are still pushing forward guys i am so proud of myself right now we are still making progress and look at that 338 hp left on my opponent's tower i'm gonna put a valk over here again and i'm gonna put my musketeer over here once again to help out with taking out the lovely barbarians i'm going to drop the icy and just carefully carefully wait and see what happens all right i'm gonna do a fireball over here to take out the um, musketeer we almost took her out but not quite let's go and put a minion horde down here so we can take down the giant because i am kind of running out of time over here so let's do a musky come on and i just need to get there a little bit quicker come on come on let's do a valkyrie oh man he is pushing for it guys he's really pushing for it he's now coming down and coming down hot and heavy on my side so i gotta keep going i gotta keep grooving keep moving come on come on come on take 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 him out oh my god no 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 the minion horde come on no 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 oh my god this is so close such a close such a close game and sudden death and I'm gonna get it because I'm gonna fireball it and yes I know I know I know that's dirty but hey victory 
is all it takes and I'm pretty pretty happy about it so 29 trophies another silver chest and we are now guys getting closer and closer to arena number seven so I'm going to stop this video right here I am still way too excited about getting my second legendary about getting the lava hound I am going to browse on YouTube and figure out an awesome combo of a lava hound in the deck and record that for you um, I can't wait to show you what I come up with and of course I absolutely I'm looking forward to getting another super magical chest and getting another legendary out of it. Now, of course, it's not a guarantee, but you know, the higher the chances, the more I'm excited about it. So I will catch you in the next episode. Keep clashing and I will see you soon.